Hello folks, right, so this is a Leopard A1A1 video on 38th Parallel, which I thought I would share because it's pretty short and I get the craziest, quickest, easiest kill streak I think I've ever had in this game in the waking moments of this match. So I was playing this to grind out the KPZ70, which I now have. And it all just sort of worked out perfectly, so I don't even know why I'm facing a T3485, but he was there, and he's dead. Um, I'm using here first because, honestly, I don't care that it costs more. It doesn't seem to really set me back that much, and it's just better in like, every conceivable way. Honestly, the here first is kind of like playing using the Chieftain's APDS. It has roughly the same pen. Um, it's basically the same round, it just has more drop, that, that's how I see it. Except obviously it's less effective against fancy new armor types. But if you know where to aim, then that doesn't matter. And uh, Yeah, there's ways to work around it. I just think that having greater pen is more important than having higher muzzle velocity and uh, a lighter shell. So, anyway, yeah, back to the game. Um, this guy, that was, I, I think that's a uh, T-54-49, 51. It's not the up armoured crazy early one. So I'm surprised that the first shot only did his cannon breach, but uh, who cares, he's dead. So, and then this guy, um... <laughs> I, I, at this point I was just like, you know what, I'm on a roll, fuck it, I'm going to take a risk. He, he somehow misses, like, terribly, and I third person him through the loud play, which was pure fucking luck. But who's complaining, right? Well, he is probably, but I thought it was, uh, I thought it was good. Good play. If, if really reckless as fuck. Um, and I think in a minute... I can I spot like a T ninety two or something coming down the hill. Where is he? Uh, this was recorded like absolutely weeks ago, by the way, so I'm just going off memory at the minute. Pretty sure I spot a guy to my left at some point. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Also I, I, I vaguely remember being aware that there's a tank to my right pretty damn close because I saw a friendly die or something. Oh, here we go, yep. Yeah, spotted the, uh, where is he? Yeah. And then totally dunk that shot. The, the, <laughs> the one tank that would have been the easiest tank to kill that I've encountered so far, maybe with the exception of the T-34. And I fuck it up. And, um, I kind of ignore him for now because I'm, I'm. I know he won't want to uh, encounter me because I'm higher BR than him. I've got a way better gun, and he's basically just a glass cannon. And I'm this guy. I thought he would be further along, like in the river, and he just fucking annihilates the shit out of me, which made me sad. Um, so I hop into the ME four ten B six R three, which has kind of become the A-10 Warthog of War Thunder since the rockets got nerfed. Although I guess you could say that about anything that has the uh, German high velocity 30mm, the uh, MK-103s I believe. But yeah, so I'm, I'm unhappy with the team at this point because I've gone on an absolute tear and I think at the minute I have like almost all the kills on the team. If I remember right, then there's like only one other person that's actually killed anything. And it's just a giant fucking slaughter fest and clusterfuck and the team really, really aren't pulling their weight. And uh, it's rare for me to do well in that kind of scenario. Usually if the team gets slaughtered then I suck because I'm... I do better as a supporting player than, than the pushy, attacky kind of player. And... Uh, and on the one time I decide to be the pushy attacky player, the whole of the rest of the team let me down, which is really fucking upsetting. But anyway, um, I think this is the T92. 
Yeah, it is. And he's dead. I fucking love killing stuff with the cannons on this thing. It took me so long to really discover it because obviously the rockets were always so good that there was not really any need. But uh, now the rockets are shit. Cannons are the new rockets. This guy just completely gives himself to me. Manages to only damage my uh, fuel tank, which seals. So I'm laughing. No damage, it's all good. So I'm hoping to get more kills. I don't know how many more, you know, just to see what happens. Um, I cannot spot the guy on A to save my fucking life, even after watching this footage back a bunch of times. I still don't know where he is. I mean, at this point, because the cap, because the point is capped, I was expecting him to be driving off it somewhere, and um, I still don't fucking know where he is. Come back around and have another check, and there's another plane coming in. So when you're in this thing, it's it's really not particularly great at killing fighters and so generally I tend to kind of shit it up a bit and think that if there's another plane up I just I kind of just accept the fact that I'm dead because you can't turn with anything you can't like outrun much and you can win head-ons like super easily like I showed earlier but only if your aim doesn't totally suck and mine really fucking does but then he just sort of stalls out right in front of me and uh, even I'm not going to miss that. Which is my 8th kill, I believe. Um, and then I guess I just ended the match because... Oh, I remember. A friendly Kugelblitz shot me down. And I just thought, you know what, fuck this. And uh, we ended up winning anyway, so it's not a major deal. But uh, there you go. Epic, super fast kill streak in the Leo. Easy two kills in the uh, B6R3. Match complete. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for more. I can't say if it'll be regular, but uh, there will be more. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.